what Qt has brought us is that ability to have components to build application that would suddenly be able to morph to go from one of these platforms to the other. So contrary to other companies which use Qt to go from one operating system to the other, we have one operating system that goes across form factor and we're using the flexibility of Qt to actually adapt to these various form factors. So now we can suddenly have because we're using that same uh, software, that same code across um, all the various uh, form factor, we're getting a lot more speed, the new number of new features that are coming out. For the developers though, this is where they're getting a lot of uh, savings because they can build the same application that would run on, a, on an IoT device, on a phone, and then um, on, uh, digital signage typically. Uh, and, and that is, you know, you divide your work by three really. And this is really what, what Qt gave us, is that ability to focus on uh, this adaptation to your environment and get each ap uh, application to really look the best for the environment it's in, but also be the most usable for the environment it's in. We're really excited about um, where Qt is going into the embedded space. Ubuntu is particularly used for self-driving cars. So 100% of self-driving cars that have started today have been using Ubuntu to actually run the self-driving car mechanism. And what we're seeing is that kind of convergence of, well, the brain that does drive the self-driving car is also going to be the same brain that's going to drive the entertainment within the car. And that's going to be understanding the entire environment around the car. And this is where we really see that there's uh, a synergy uh, between the two companies um, to, to, to get into that sector.